Hello YouTubers, it's Steve back again. Uh, I'm going to do the off grid garage build, but today I'm going to talk about glass ballast raids. Uh, these are what I fitted here. Hello Max the dog, hello boy. boy. So um, what I'm going to tell you is how I went about fitting them and um, the pitfalls of them, because they're not all, they're good but not good. They look beautiful but there is problems you have with them as well so I'm just going to go and um, show you them and uh, show you how I fitted them and how I strengthened them up after and the best way of juggling it about that I found um, to fit these glass ballast raids so uh, I'll just show you now what I did and I'll go about doing it this is um, my garage roof so this is, a garage, this is a, the garage we turned into a summer house because as you know I've got an off grid garage to go further off Go up there, Max. Come on, come on, good boy. <laughs> Always has to have his own way. So, what I did with this, when it was done originally, uh, all the roof was rotten on my garage, and you can see me, the ground built up at the back of the garage. So, he made it, this into like a little summer house, so we could sit in it while we're doing gardening and have a cup of tea. All the roof was rotten. So what, so what we did, well I got a builder to do, it was too much for me because I was, I was doing a lot of work on the house. Um, what we did originally, here we had, it was, it was all rotten, the whole roof was completely rotten. So I put extra, I put extra joists in myself. So I put the extra joists, joists in the, the roof myself. And then when I did all the strength of the work inside, it was probably about five joists in the whole roof. So I doubled that up, I put an extra five in again and I strengthened in between it, it's solid as a rock. I used six by twos joists to span it and we've got a divider wall in the middle because we shared it with next door as well. And then what I did then, I got the builder to, to, to finish it off, we wanted a, a ridge around the edge. So we had 20mm OSB board, well 19mm I think it is. Uh, what one sheet laid one way and then we got another so we've got one sheet laid one way and then we got you know laid another sheet on top of that sheet the opposite way so we had like a interlocking system going so we sheeted the whole roof one way then it went the opposite way with another sheet so there's virtually about 38 mil of OSP board on this roof and it's strengthened underneath as well so walking on there is like walking on the ground is solid then we had it rubber membrane, it falls this way at the back and gutted off to the sides. But I wanted to put a glass, well, I wanted to put a wire, a wire rail around it. And it, 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 it when I get up and show you in a minute, it is open to the elements. And I knew that we could have problems with this because from my previous experience, I've made gates and railings for the living and I know that we're going we to have problems with this. So originally I wanted like wire between the posts but uh, my wife and the neighbours they wanted glass so so we've gone for the glass uh, at a great expense but we've gone for it and uh, so I'll just show you how I fitted that and uh, so you can see I've left the ridge left the ridge 100 mil timber beam around the side to, to, to fit the glass railings too and um, so I'll just show you what I did to make it because obviously you've got to pierce through the, the membrane to do it so uh, I'll just show you what I did, just to try and dump, it, it hasn't leaked, it's been great, so just to put, show you what I did to make it more secure. Put this out, Come on camera, I think Max has got more uh, posing than me, are you Max a lad, eh? A bit more posy time, did boy, did boy, <laughs> not bad. Right, let's see, so that's... So this is the view we, you know, you can see why we put it here. If you look down there, that's, that's Talaka Beach, North Wales. That's a lighthouse. Got a view all the way down the coast, all the way. There, there. That's Liverpool over there in the distance. You can see down there. There's my off-grid garage build. All there. Um, so you see the reason why we built the sun terrace up here, right? So 
down here now, our, it, it's on a, a 100 mil ridge beam all the way around. But what I did, bef and my, my, you have to, I put this up, so you have to be competent in what you do because, but I've been get, 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 get to Raymond's for 10 years in my life, so I know what I'm doing, so. Um, but you have to really mark everything out properly and get it all done properly. So what I did first, this is flash band, this stuff here. So I bought a roll of this and I cut it into strips and I marked each one out and I marked it all here so I knew where each leg was going. But what I, di what I did was, I was a, there's three bolts underneath this. One there, one there and one over here. And I put a um, 80 mil um, big coach bolts in there and in between them as well you have adjusters you have adjusters uh, three adjusters so you can tighten them down I put and as I was putting them in I, I um, siliconed all underneath as well so it's, it's siliconed all underneath underneath that to the floor and as I put each bolt in I put silicon around the bolts as well so that should it, well, it, it hasn't leaked. It's been it's been up for the whole year now. It's not leaked at all. Then over the top goes this shield here. So what I did was as I put it in, I siliconed underneath it, then pushed it down onto it. So so I did all that as well. So you can see how I've done it there. Now these rubber strips here, I'll show you what they are in a minute. Because what happened was we had a storm. These things here that are clamped the glass together. These are not very good. They're good for holding the glass in, but not up. This glass is heavy, so it's good for holding it in, but not for holding it up as well. So, because when they get damp or they rattle, the glass slides down. And what happened was, I'll show you the in the corner. In the corner here, what, what happened was, we had a storm. We had a storm. And where that corner piece is there, it, it's all like put, it, it, this wobbled one way, this this wobbled one way and that bit went the other way and the glass nearly fell out so so what so what I did I, I had to well the neighbors banded it up with string for now then what we did then I, I put on all the glass was dropping because these because these things here are all right for holding it in but not for holding it up because it's too heavy so what I thought was, if I get, I've got rubber blocks and I rested it just on the top, I will drop the glass so it rested on the rubber blocks, as you can see down there, see? Now the glass used to come up to here, it looked great. And regulation said it's gotta be, so, cause I put it on a, put it on a hundred mil base already, even by dropping the glass, it's still over 1100 high, so we're all right for regulations. But then I needed to strengthen it all up. So, so that's how I fitted it all. And then I strengthened it. I'll show you the strength, strengtheners in a minute. Right, I'll just go get, the, get me the tripod up. So I'll show you the strengtheners better. We're having a back in tripod. Right. That. You can see where we built it up here because it is a sub trap. So that's what we on to today's sponsor, today's video. Tower Lastics. Tower Lastics is today's sponsor of today's video. If you're wondering what tower elastics is, I'm going to show you. Here they are here. That's the that's the name of them there, tower elastics. And what they're for is for keeping your your towel on your sunbed uh, when you go abroad. It's sunny, especially in the Canaries and all that where we go. It's sunny over there, we're in Wales now, look at it, it's mad. So I'm just going to show you how this works. Well, it's easy, self-explanatory, it's a piece of elastic to hold your towel on. 
So, it's, even a man can do it, to show you. Some bed towel on. Can't even get into it. There you are. You see on the back there, that's what they are. There they'll be now. Some bed straps. Towel elastics. Right. And basically, Elastic pegs. It's good quality elastic. Now today the, the company have given me a promo code for this. So if you go on eBay, they, they sell them on eBay only. And if you put in triple seven, that's three sevens. If you look for them on eBay, they're under sunbed pegs or sunbed straps on eBay. And uh, that's where you'll find them. And if you put the code in, if you get the if you message message the set the seller the code triple seven you get a free gift you get one free gift with every order so that's it so it's basically quality good quality elastic to hold your towels on your sunbeds uh, this one's reserved I'll show you others here <laughs> loads of different loads of different types different designs they're all there. So if you go on eBay, look under some bed straps, some bed pegs, the pegs, the plastic pegs, that's how I like these, because the plastic pegs, they're just no good. They're no good and they're no good for landfill and they're no good for the environment. These work, they take up no room in your luggage. You can use them to wrap your towels up as well after. So they're the best thing you can have for the for holding your, hold your towel in your sun bed. And uh, I use it <laughs> we're in Wales in March. I can use them here. You know, and it keeps stops it from blowing away. Simple as that. Right, I can't help me video now. Right. Yeah, so, so what I did, because all this down here, it, we, we've got a U-shaped glass ballast raid. So this bit down here was going to a dead end, and it was all shaking. It was, and it was shaking itself to bits, really, because we never had nothing at the end to tie it in. So what I've got is got some stainless steel. Uh, uh, this is 80, uh, 30 by... 8 mil thick stainless steel and I've got some stainless steel bolts and I drilled through there myself made this adapter to fit in to strengthen it all up and this is worth the treat this is we had we've had a storm in the meantime and it's all worked good so that's what I've done from there see then at the bottom I've made the shim to shim it out to bring it off the thing to, but you don't want to be going into the rubber membrane so I made a shim to go into there and that, that there is like 80 mil long coach bolt and that's stainless into a stainless shim to go in there and that has done has strengthened it all up we've had a good storm and now the glass doesn't move so it's just gonna same what I've done here is put it in the corners corner to corner and anyone else knows in engineering if you can make a triangle that's the most strengthened thing you can make in engineering it's also going to dump through the tops bolt through the top straight through same again then this hole holds this whole corner in the glass cannot come out now where before 
when we had a storm and nearly lost that glass in the corner it was actually that, this bit there, that bit there was hanging out we were just about saved by the neighbours the neighbours saved it you know and this is expensive glass so you can see what we've done there I've fixed it on used flash band uh, rubberized silicon proper roofing silicon put it underneath and then got it all done and you can see it's a good little sun, sun trap it's a good sun terrace on, on, a, on a make use of a flat garage roof and see Max the dog loves it do you Max? Do you like a boy? good lad and don't forget your son's bed straps put in the code 777 when you order them only on eBay and um, you'll get a free everyone that goes to 777 you get a free um, gift with the with the each sunbed strap you buy. And there's your views again. Look at that. You can see why we why we made this terrace. Yeah, I'll take you down through a quick thing from the from the underneath side. So that's it from the top. You can see it down the side there. That's that's how we've done. I ordered this offline through a company. I can't remember what the company would call, but if you let me know. That's it guys, if you've got any questions, just put them in the comments below. We need weapons, this is so good. And I'll try and answer them the best you can. Got a shout out to uh, one of the Americans, Jude, Jude Adam Smith. He's always watching. Uh, he's been a few young lad. Uh, but that's why I started off doing this so the family can see, everyone can see what I'm up to because I'm always up to something. Uh, building projects or doing little projects myself. Uh, I like to keep busy. Especially now because I'm, I'm starting to lose my hearing so I've got to keep myself occupied keep my mind going um, so that's it thanks for now thanks for watching and uh, see you soon everybody